man. Do I dare unleash the beast? <laughs> I've been so good about keeping this wildfire contained in all this latest string of videos that I've done. I'm feeling daring, I'm feeling like I wanna turn a page, like I wanna start a new year and be risky. No. What's up friends, what's up fam? Uh, Tom is back and I'm back with a really fun video, one of my more different ones. I love doing different type of videos. Because it's the new start, well, by definition, a start is new, right? You're changing something that previously wasn't. To celebrate the start of a new year, I thought I'd talk about resolutions and kind of the way I've morphed over the years in approaching new years, new resolutions, goals, and just healthy habits to get into. Uh, what I do now and what I'm trying for 2021 is something I learned from Donald Miller at one of his Storyline conferences that I went to years ago. I actually have this little poster. Let me show you guys. Oh man, I just ripped off part of the wall. <laughs> so much for command strips being safe. I guess I'll deal with that when I move out. I have this hanging on my wall from 2013, the Storyline conference in Nashville. What I learned among lots of things from that conference was kind of a new approach to productivity and ways to get things done. Essentially, instead of saying I'm going to do this or I want to do this, the approach, a little bit of a, a switch in words and a switch in mindset of how to approach goals and to be productive, whether it's for a new year or otherwise, um, is to ask yourself this. If I could do life over again, I'd fill in the blank. And so when you look at New Year's, when you look at all these resolutions and goals that we have at the start of a year, a lot of times they just fizzle out. But what if, what if you could transplant your current day status to December 31st, and you're sitting there on the last day of the year, looking back over the last 365 days, and if you had to live this year over again, what would you do? And it's been really helpful for me. I'm only three plus weeks into this new year, into this new mindset of things that I wish I would have done if I could redo 2021. And so I thought I'd share some of those things with you. Let's go. We are just going to ignore, oh my gosh, that is such a gigantic chunk of paint. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move on, continuing to the living room. Something when I was doing CrossFit, oh, we'll add that to the list. I will have rejoined CrossFit because I've been out of CrossFit gosh, for almost a year now. And something that they did in CrossFit that I could never do was a handstand push-up. let alone a handstand. That, that would be tremendous enough if I could wield my body in such a way that I could do a handstand. But in addition to that, doing then a set of push-ups while in the handstand position. Never knew how to do that, could never learn, never gave myself the space to learn until now, until this year. This year I want to do it, I will have learned how to do a handstand push-up by the end of 2021. If I could do 2021 over again, I will have learned this because I would have felt so proud of myself, so masculine, so confident, so accomplished, so limber and strong. Like I want all of those things. I watched two YouTube videos. This is what I've got so far. <laughs> no judgment, it's January. So you go like this and then you like, you lead with your, with, with, this is like your driver leg, right? Your driver leg. This is your stabilizer and this is your driver. And so you basically just like, <laughs> oh my gosh. You basically like keep pushing yourself up <clears throat> until you get closer and closer. <clears throat> One more time. <clears throat> so we're not there yet. <sighs> we're not there yet, but we will have gotten there. Also, I realized in my last video, I talked about that leg hair comment video, and I had the nerve to wear long pants for that video. What is wrong with me? Something I have always wanted to learn to do is blow my nose. <laughs> um, no, what I've always wanted to learn to do is juggle. Like what a fun little just party trick. So I had a friend tell me, you should practice with tissues and then like practice just, keeping your eyes on the tissues and eventually you'll be able to do tennis balls or 
or bowling balls or chainsaws. My camera is sinking. <laughs> I'm gonna try for the very first time to use three tissues to juggle, practice juggling. Because by the end of 2021, if I had to redo 2021 all over again, I would have learned to juggle. Oh, so, so would have learned how to juggle. So, so let's see. First you go up. <laughs> okay, something that I have always wanted to learn and just have never taken one lick of initiative to do is to learn another language more than just like required Spanish classes in high school and college, but like to legitimately take time out of my day regularly to learn a language, to practice it, to speak it, and to eventually have it so ingrained. And some of y'all know this, my mom was born and raised in Poland, speaks fluent Polish, and would speak to Polish to us as a kid, but nothing ever really stuck other than some words and phrases. And so what I've done is gone to the blessing that is Duolingo. Anyone else use Duolingo? Um, and I've been learning Polish for the last three weeks. And it's been going okay. <laughs> Spelling is difficult. There are words that are literally like Z, C, Z, Y, Z that I, it's, it takes a little bit of like repetition to get used to how things are spelled in Polish. But speaking, I feel like the speaking is going pretty well, honestly. I drink water and eat bread. I drink water and eat bread, and then it gives you multiple choice. So I drink water, that is pije voda, pije voda, and then and eat bread, that would be iem chleb. And I got it right. Tak on je jabko. Tak on je jabko. That means yes, he is eating an apple. Am I right? Yes! Uh, yabko is my favorite word. Not even like just Polish word. It's my favorite English word, any word ever invented. Yabko. Look at that. I still don't know <clears throat> what the little L with the line through it means. Mother, if you're watching, can you tell me? Can you tell me what that little L with the... It's like not L. I know way more Polish today than I've ever known in my whole life. And by the end of the year, if I had to relive 2021, I would have learned Polish, 100%, and I'm doing it. Three and a half years ago, my family were so kind, so gracious, that for my 30th birthday, they got me a guitar. And for years, I'd wanted to play, I just wanted to learn. Watching YouTube videos, worship artists, I love people who can pick up a guitar, make music happen, make worship happen with two flicks of a wrist. Like, that is so magical to me. And for a solid, I would say, nine months, I was learning how to tune the guitar, I was learning chords, I was even like practicing and trying to follow along with YouTube tutorials of how to play various songs, and I was, I was definitely making progress. And then life just got crazy. 2017, 2000, going into 2018, life just took a hard left turn for me. Things went by the wayside, and one of the unfortunately easy things to let go of during that season was guitar. And a few months turned to a couple years to the point now that it's been almost three years since I've even like hardly even opened the case, let alone pick it up and do something with it. And when I was forecasting 2021, when I get to the end of 2021, Probably, if I'm being honest, what's like the biggest hobby or the biggest use of my spare time that I wish I will have invested in? It was a sobering, convicting, weighty realization that it, it was guitar. It has, it has to be the guitar. I need to get back into learning this instrument. And so 2021, this is the year of getting back into playing, learning first, <laughs> and then playing my guitar. Wow, look at that. The pick is still trapped in the, <laughs> in the strings. I'm not sure how it got there or how long it's been there for years. That's literally the first sound I've made on this thing in three years, which is crazy. Gosh, this thing isn't even tuned. I'm gonna have to like relearn how to tune it. I don't even remember like literally what finger goes where to make what chord and nothing's coming to me. I know when I see them again, it's gonna come back, it's gonna come rushing in, but 
right now. It's like, I was hoping I would pick this up. <clears throat> this is how unscripted my video is today. I was literally hoping I would pick this up, look at the neck of the guitar, put my fingers on various strings and all of a sudden remember, oh yeah, that's a, that's a C, that's a, that's a G flat, that's a, I don't even know if I'm saying the right terms anymore. But man, I've got nothing. Nothing is coming back to me. Which is simultaneously discouraging, but also to be expected. It's been three years. And I do know, once I like follow the tutorials and start getting regular again, it is absolutely gonna come back to me. I know it, I, I, I just know it. As of now, it feels kind of like a blank slate, which is extremely daunting, because I know I made so much progress a few years ago. But um, here's hoping that I gain that progress back. So I can't wait, can't wait to get back to this. And by the end of 2021, doing the year over again, I, I will have done it. Kind of the challenge, the big twist to end the video is not only do I want to get back into playing guitar, learning the chords, learning to strum again, something to really challenge me and push me this year is I wish, because I have so many documents on my phone, I wish I will have written a song. My first song. And that's not saying I put it up anywhere or <laughs> release it, but for my own edification and maybe for the blessing of other people in my life, maybe in a YouTube video, I learn a song that I've written and put together and created. I, I think that would just be, that would be beyond special. So let me know in the comments below how your 2021 is going, how you wish it will have gone by the time you reach the end of this year. I would love to hear some of the things you guys are, are tossing around and things that you've been implementing with the start of a new year. I hope, I hope this new mindset, I hope it helps. And even, even a smidgen, if it helps a smidgen, um, that'd be super cool. Give me a like, give me a subscribe if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it as I grow this channel in 2021 and beyond. When 2021 ends, I will have surpassed a thousand subscribers. I'm convinced. I just, I will have wanted that to have happened, and so it will have happened. Had happened. So let it be done. So let it have been done. 